Hi, it's Andrew Bell, Abelson here. And in this short demonstration, we're going to have a look at cost tables and different costings for different assignments on Microsoft Project. So to start, I'm going to uh, go to a new project and I'm going to create task one and task two. I'm going to make these automatically scheduled tasks so we can see them. Uh, I'm also going to just add in the summary task so that we can make this look like a real project. Uh, I'm now going to go to the resource sheet and add in two resources, resource Sam and resource Alex. And I'm going to give them £10 an hour as a standard pay rate. Now back to the Gantt chart. Most people know that if we double click on a task, we get task information. And uh, this is where we can add general things about the tasks, uh, the predecessors, the resources. I'm going to put Sam onto task one while I'm here. Uh, we can also add notes. And the notes is here is that Sam gets paid extra for working abroad. And um, this is going to have to be reflected. Uh, task two, I'm going to assign Alex. Let me double click it to go to resources, assign Alex. Click OK. So double click a task and we get task information. Now back to the resource sheets. I'm going to double click a resource and we get resource information. So general information about the resource and the costs. Now the default cost that I put in here was £10 an hour. And so the default table rate A is £10 an hour. And what I'm going to do now is make table rate B £50 an hour. Type a 50 in there. Let's have a look at that. There's rate B, £50 an hour. So if we double click a resource, we can get resource information. Sam gets paid extra for working abroad. But Sam only gets paid the extra when working abroad, not on all of his tasks. And to do this, I need to look at one of the other views. The task usage view is a list of the tasks and the resources that do them. Now, if I double click on task one here, I'm going to get the task information. But if I double click on there, I'm going to get assignment information because this is how Sam is working on task one. Uh, a similar view is the resource usage view. This is now a list of the resources and the tasks that they do. If I double click on Sam, I'm going to get resource information. But if I double click on Sam and task one, I get assignment information. Now, it's in assignment information that I can change the work contour and the cost rate table. Before I do it, let's go and have a look at what the costs are currently, and then we'll see what the change is going to be. So I'm going to go back to the Gantt chart view because it's familiar. And I'm changing the table to the cost table. And we can see that because there was eight hours of work on these tasks at £10 an hour, eight hours is the default. The total cost of this project is 160 hours. So back to the usage views, and here's Sam working on task one, which is going to be at rate B. Now, rate B is 40 pounds an hour more than rate A, and he's working eight hours a day. So eight fours, this should be 320 pounds extra. So that's assigned him. Let's go back to the Gantt chart view. And there we can see the total cost is now increased by £320, making it 480 So double click a task for task information. Double click a resource for resource information. Uh, but double click on an assignment and you need to be in one of the usage views to get assignment information. And this is where you can change the work contour and the cost rate tables. So I hope that explains it. Thank you for watching.